The particular intervention that we've been focusing on over the last few months have been the implementation of the Surviving Sepsis Campaign, the screening tool for sepsis and the implementation of the first and the six hour bundles. Over the last five months we've actually focused as a team on two particular interventions um, actually because we'd already worked on one for some time um, and that was cardiac arrest data. Um, we've, although we collected data, um, we didn't analyse it and we've looked at it closely. That's been one of the key um, things. The second most significant thing was the rollout of the sepsis bundle. Um, and although we started it some time ago, um, we didn't quite get it right and we were taking it in small steps. Um, but over the last five months we've managed to roll that out. The real successes have been the empowerment of nursing staff to understand these tools and use them to trigger patients and instruct doctors and work as a team. Our real successes have been um, the reduction in cardiac arrest. Although um, rapid response or critical care outreach for this trust we've been in post for a number of years. Um, and although we knew the data had reduced, that the number of cardiac arrests had reduced, we hadn't really looked at it very closely. Um, we promote putting out calls for help um, so that when a patient deteriorates, um, they put a call out straight away. Um, and what we've actually seen is a huge reduction in cardiac arrests. And our data to date, the average is one cardiac arrest per month. Staff has generally responded very positively to this focus. Um, it has given them tools that they needed, I think, to do their work better, and they got them now. For us, the next chapter has to be um, the rollout of um, the sepsis bundle to every department. We're currently running it in six of the acute wards plus A&E. The one thing that stands out for me during this period is that uh, for the first time I think we're reaching broad parts of the, the medical staff as well as nursing staff, junior, senior and middle grades. I think one of the most significant things that has stood out for me over the last five months now has to be um, the patient safety issue. Um, not just from a nursing perspective, that it's now to the surface and it's not just patients and staff, it's the relatives now who are starting to understand what's happening within the trust. Um, and I think that's one of the key things. The Sows and Life campaign is so important because it allows us to focus on the actual intervention rather than having to argue whether this intervention is necessary. I believe the Thousand Lives campaign is extremely important because for me it does bring patient safety to the surface. Um, the lessons that we learned is that you need the senior staff on boards to uh, get the ball rolling and I think we've had that, we had the support of the board and senior managerial staff uh, to get going with this and I think that's the reason why it is working. One of the biggest lessons I've learned um, not just over the last five months, but over the last 12, 18 months, has been small steps. Has to be small steps. I think traditionally in nursing and medicine, you would roll, thing out, roll ideas out pretty quickly, um, and then you may stumble. However, what we have learned is small tests of change, and they work. <laughs>